After moving into their dream apartment, Pippa and Thomas noticed that their windows looked directly onto the apartment across the street, unwittingly inviting them to witness the volatile relationship of the attractive couple next door. A reckless attempt at anonymous meddling in someone else's life sets off a chain of events that inevitably leads to disaster. Hello everyone, this is Recap Movie Hub. Today I'm going to tell you about the movie The Voyeurs. I don't think we should spy on our neighbors. Right, right. A young woman named Pippa and her boyfriend Thomas have moved into a new apartment and are enjoying life together. In the evenings, Tom drinks chlorophyll water, claiming it is the secret to longevity. Pippa doesn't like the taste and declares that she doesn't want to have children, to which Tom agrees. One day they see through the window a couple making love in the house across the street, but Pippa thinks it's wrong, while Tom likes it. They stop watching and go to bed. The next day, Pippa puts on some sexy lingerie and wants to celebrate her first night in her new apartment. But when she gets to bed, she finds that Tom is already asleep. Later, Pippa tells her friend Aria about her observations of her neighbors, and Aria explains to her that they may be exhibitionists who want other people to see them, so Pippa should not feel guilty. Pippa is an ophthalmologist and works in an eye clinic. At her job, a Japanese doctor gives her an empty birdcage and tells her about its great importance in Japan. After returning home, Pippa discovers that Tom has drawn a chalk drawing, which she really likes. The couple sits closer to the window to watch their neighbors, whom they call Margot and Brand. Suddenly, they notice that Brand is starting to choke. Then, Tom decides to go in there to save him. But Margot sees that Brand is choking and saves her lover. All the while, Pippa and Tom enjoy the spectacle, which has become a fascinating show for them. At night, however, Pippa cannot sleep. She sees Margot coming out of the house and Brand standing naked at the window. The sight of a man's body excites her. The next day, Tom is at work drinking chlorophyll water and looking out the window, where he notices that Brand is working as a photographer and doing photo shoots at his house. In the evening, the couple notices that Brand is cheating on Margot with the girl he photographed in the morning. This excites Pippa, and she suggests that Tom look at them through binoculars while she does his hand job. Together, they enjoy this new fetish. Pippa then takes the binoculars and watches while Tom makes love to her. But he comes very quickly, leaving Pippa unhappy. At night, Pippa cannot sleep and goes to the neighbor's house, where she finds Margot back home and lying in bed with Brand. Pippa feels sorry for Margot, who is in love with her cheating husband. The next morning, Pippa and her boyfriend go to his sister Jenny and her friend Ari's cafe and tell them what happened last night. Jenny thinks that Brand is acting on Margot's consent. She also tells them about her brother, who used a laser beam in college to tap sounds. Pippa is interested and asks Tom to explain how this can be done at home. Tom explains to her that sound waves can change the frequency of the beam, and he can take the beams with the new changes and convert them to sound, but they need a mirror in the next apartment to do this. They go to a Halloween party, dressed as thieves. Brand likes the way they look and takes pictures of them. Tom notices that Brand is cheating on Margot during the bathroom orgy, and Pippa manages to set a mirror on the statue to reflect the laser beam. They return home and point the laser at the neighbors, but can't see the reflection. Pippa erases the chalk drawing and touches the chalk dust with glass cleaner and ends up detecting the reflection. After they run it through the converter, they can hear what is happening on the other side of the road. They hear Margot accusing Brand of cheating and him lying and making her feel guilty. The next day, Pippa worries about Margot and thinks about her at work. But when she meets her at the clinic, she learns that Margot's real name is Julia. Meanwhile, Tom is working and is distracted when he sees Brenda at a photo shoot with a dark-skinned, naked girl. He overhears their conversation and watches them make love. In the evening, Pippa tells Tom about Julia and that she wants to be friends with her. Tom tells her about the dark-skinned girl. Pippa wants to tell Julia about Brenda, but Tom asks her to stay out of it. Julia, meanwhile, puts on some sexy lingerie and tries to seduce her husband, Brenda, whose real name, Sebastian, but the man is not in the mood for love and leaves her alone on the bed. The next day, Pippa meets Julia at the spa, where they learn a lot about each other. And when they are in the pool, Pippa hears from Julia about her complicated relationship with her husband. Days pass, and Sebastian still continues to cheat on Julia with different girls. 
Pippa continues to spy and worry about her friend. One night, she connects her computer to Julia's wireless printer and sends her a message that her husband is cheating on her and that there is a used condom in the bathroom trash can. Sebastian wakes up and checks on Julia, but she pretends that everything is fine. Tom wakes up and sees Julia looking at a message on the printer, goes to the bathroom and checks the trash can. The girl finds a condom in there. Tom accuses Pippa for interfering in their family. Then they see Julia take a knife from the kitchen, then she tries to kill her husband while he sleeps. Eventually, she changes her mind about doing it. Tom breaks the binoculars and gets angry. The next morning, Pippa tells Tom that she is done spying, and they embrace. Suddenly, she sees that Julia has... Tom snaps and blames Pippa. Then he says he's done, breaks up with her, and leaves. Pippa goes into a depression... She watches Sebastian drinking across the street and is also depressed. He goes to the bar next door and she follows him. Pippa comes into the bar. Sebastian looks at her and goes to sit at a table with her. He thinks he has seen her before at a party. They chat and he tells her that he used to make love to other girls because it had no effect on his relationship with Julia. He asks her to go to his house for a photo shoot. During the shoot, the man asks Pippa to undress and to make her feel more comfortable. He takes off his clothes too. They do the photo shoot, but it leads them to love. At this time, Tom returns to the apartment to apologize, but does not find Pippa. He goes to get a bottle of chlorophyll water. Tom begins to hate the taste of it and pours it into the birdcage, but when he does, the man sees Pippa making love to Sebastian. The next morning, Pippa discovers that Tom has himself and begins to feel intense guilt because of it. She told her friend Aria about the whole story, and she said it was not her fault. The girl wished she could see Sebastian at his show. The man is surprised when he sees her. He closes the red curtains in front of his pictures on the wall. The guy takes the stage and introduces his project partner, Julia. Pippa is surprised to learn that Julia is alive and introduces their project, telling the story of Pippa and Tom, whom Sebastian and Julia have been spying on. There are pictures hanging on the wall that show Pippa naked. Then... She returns to her room and discovers the equipment of the roommates who have been spying on them all along. The next day she wants to move out and helps the workers remove her things. She goes to the birdcage and finds chlorophyll water in it. The girl pours it out and looks down, where a dozen poisoned birds lie. Later, Julia and Sebastian are interviewed about their project, which has become popular and brought them a lot of money. After the interview, they find a bottle of wine by the front door. The couple is drinking wine and hears the printer running. They look out the window and see Pippa. They follow her to the eye clinic, where she tells them about Julia, who happens to have poisoned Tom's water and faked his death. Then, Julia and Sebastian pass out from the poisoned wine. Pippa doesn't want to kill them and simply blinds them with a laser. A few days later, a new gay couple moves into Pippa's former apartment. They watch Julia and Sebastian, seeing that the couple is blind, while Pippa is on the roof with her broken binoculars. She is watching them from afar, after her revenge. That's all for today. Subscribe and like it if you want more videos like this.